Hi guys, Bailey and Amir here. Happy New Year. I have a wonderful and fairly easy recipe to show you guys today. I'm going to make some really quick, simple, homemade chocolate pudding. It is honestly really simple and for the longest time I made this vegan. It can totally be made with non-dairy milk. However, today I'm going to show you this using regular milk. The steps are completely the same. You can use almond milk, coconut milk, dairy milk, soy milk. It really is up to you. Just make sure that if you are making this for somebody that is vegan, that the chocolate bar that you use does not have milk product in it. So let's get started. So like I said, this could not be simpler. I'm going to put my heat over between medium and medium high. The most important thing to remember when you're making this recipe is you do not want to burn the milk and you do not want to scorch or split the chocolate. And if you follow my instructions, you're not going to have that problem. And in here I have about 100 grams or about three and a half ounces of really dark chocolate. I'm using about 90% dark chocolate and this one is just chocolate. It's, there's no milk, no sugar, no nothing added to it. So I'm going to put that in there and I've got a whisk here. Make sure that you don't use like metal with this. Sometimes that can leave a strange flavor in the chocolate. I don't know if there's a science behind that, but I've definitely noticed it. And then sugar, this is kind of up to you. You honestly don't have to add any sugar if you really like dark chocolate. I am just adding a little bit of sugar. The final ingredients for all of these, because I tend to add a little bit as I go, they're going to be on the website. That's typically why I don't give you guys complete measurements in the video. So if you're using sugar, add it into the chocolate and stir it in. Once the pan is obviously hot, I'm going to turn it down to medium. Once this is completely thickened, you don't want to let it heat for too terribly long because it's going to scorch. So I'm going to add in a little bit of milk to start with. It sizzled just a little bit and it very quickly thickens up. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And don't worry if it looks like that. I assure you it will melt. The problem is, is that when you added the milk, it dropped the temperature of the chocolate and the chocolate solidified. When you get to this point, what I'm going to suggest you do is try a little bit with a spoon and make sure that it's got enough sugar in it and that you don't need to add more. It would be really, really hard to add more sugar once we brought this up to the boil and thickened it. Now that I know that I have the perfect amount of sugar for my personal taste, you're going to want to make sure that it's pretty hot. Mine is just starting to bubble, so now I'm going to add my thickener. I'm using potato starch. You could easily use cornstarch. Tapioca would work, however, use half as much tapioca starch as I am using here. A little bit at a time. If it starts to bubble too much, hold it off the heat. You don't want it to burn. And what you want to do is you want to slowly add a little bit more until you get the desired consistency that you want. Keep in mind that this is going to solidify as we put it in the fridge. If you're not going to put this in the fridge and eat it cold, you will want to put more thickener in here because this will be as thick as it's going to get, obviously. So let it bubble for about 30 to 40 seconds, and then you're done. Go ahead and shut your heat off. Check it with a spoon. Slightly thickened, and holds its shape when you do that. And it tastes pretty good, too. Just gonna set this off of the stove for a second while I set up my containers. And there is your yummy pudding. Now, you could put this in a pie and make chocolate pudding pie, which I'll do in another recipe sometime. That was my grandma's favorite. But for now, these are gonna go into containers to go into the refrigerator. You can use ramekins, you can use pretty looking martini glasses, wine glasses, whatever you want. I'm just using some silicone baking tins, these little muffin cups. And you could fill them halfway, but you know what? It's holiday. We're going to put a little bit more. A little be generous. Another tip, if you did, for whatever reason, get um, chunks in your pudding, like, I don't know. Maybe you're start, you didn't mix in the starch quick enough. You can run this through a strainer. 
In fact, you can do that anyways. It would only make it that much more silky and delicious. But frankly, guys, I don't want to clean the strainer. Got three solid portions. Honestly, you could get four portions out of this. And on the recipe post, I'm going to do the calories for a serving of four just because. Now, let's be honest. That's amazing as is. But let's take it to another level, shall we? Here I've just got some raw sugar, turbino sugar, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top. And then here I have some coarse sea salt. Salt and chocolate, match made in heaven. So I'm just going to put a few little grains on each. And honestly, if you had flaked kosher salt, that would be even better. But this is what I have. That is it. You're going to want to put these in the refrigerator until they're set. And unfortunately, that's going to take three, maybe four hours until they're cold all the way through. It'll be nice and jiggly and solid when you're done. I'm going to insert a picture after this, and I hope you guys will check it out. If you want the full written tutorial for this recipe and many more, please visit my website, www.feelingamir.com. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is free, and I will have many more recipes to come. Happy New Year's, guys. Bye.